So when most people think about what education is, it's actually a whole spectrum of stuff. So if you imagine over here, this is kind of the most the most rote form of education. This is you know your multiplication facts or dates in history or vocabulary. And then as you go in this direction, you get kind of the more open-ended and creative things. So this is creativity, creativity, and open-endedness. And what's happening right now is there's definitely creativity and open-endedness happening in classrooms. But I think. Almost every educator I talk to says that they wish they had more time for doing that type of stuff. So in a right now our traditional education system is focused kind of on this part of the spectrum. So this is, this is where it's focused now. Now what's been interesting about Khan Academy is we've been able to, but with a combination of obviously we've got videos, we've got software, which are our exercises and our dashboards, where we have our community of students who are able to help each other. We think this virtual component can start to address can start to address a lot of this, and it goes into things that are quite uh, conceptual and quite open-ended and project-based. We have computer science and other things. We have simulations. A lot of the videos go into the conceptual understanding of things. But the value here, the value of of what Khan Academy we think can be over time is not to replace this. By no means will it replace this. I have kids myself and I do not want them to just learn from a virtual school or spend all the time in the, in, in the classroom. We think the opportunity is, is that the physical classroom then moves over here. It becomes, it becomes even more open-ended and more creative. And so our view of the summer camp is to really experiment with what we can do over here. So this is what we're doing right over here in our discovery lab. And that's why you're going to see at this camp, I guess we can call it, you're going to see a lot more kind of simulations. And when I talk about simulations, we're talking about real world games, kids trading, kids talking to each other. We're going to see, we're going to see a lot of projects, students building robots, students tearing down electronic devices and figuring out what all of the things do. You're going to see a lot more real world, real world mathematics. So a lot of probability and statistics and also kind of tactile mathematics. So you'll see three-dimensional geometry. These kids are going to build three-dimensional Sierp Sierpinski's tetrahedrons and whatever else. And so really, this is all about what could the future physical classroom look like? And this is a really important point, because whenever people think about virtual education, they always think of it as an either or. Oh, virtual education versus physical. But we think virtual education is going to make physical education one more valuable, and actually it makes it even more valuable. So ironically, ver the, the kind of the, the school of the future, the physical in our minds, are going to become even more important. And so what we're hoping to do is we're going to experiment with all of these things, see what works, what doesn't work, and then see if we can scale it up to, to the rest of the world. We can share what, what has worked, and so any teacher, any student, any parent anywhere can do some of these uh, simulations, projects, and, and, and real world games.